So today we're just removing the mite strips that we had in our hive back here. Uh, they were placed a week ago. We're just taking them out. It's going to be around 90 degrees today. So we want to get them out. And then we're going to just put the bees back in and let them go about their business. It's a little too hot to worry about them. Okay, we've had our mite strip in our beehive now for about a week. It's going to get hot today in the 90s. So we are out here. We are going to remove our mite strip and just let the bees settle back down and get back to work. So nothing more going on. You can see they're they're already pretty active here by the entrance. So we really don't want to get them all crazy. Just going to do this mite strip removal and then just keep right on going. Put it back together again and let them get back to work. Okay, looking inside, our honey supers do not have any honey in them just yet. See the bees are still pretty docile here this morning. So I'm going to get this queen excluder off of here. That might jazz them up just a little bit. The queen excluder off. There's our formic acid strips. We want to get those off. Try to peel those off of here as quickly as we can. These are getting just a little stirred up. Let's see if we can push this stuff off. Okay. And get this piece off. Want the stuff left in here getting in the way of our queen excluder or anything in our hive. A little bit of packaging down here on the end. And a bee. Get that bee off of there. Okay. Take this off too. Alright. My girls are pretty mellow in here, which is very, very nice. Very, very nice that they're all so mellow yet. Um, but it, we do seem to be filling up our frames pretty well in here. Almost tempted to take one out. I should try and lift it out and see if it's full or not. I bought a replacement frame. Want to make sure that that'll fit. And it will. So we're good on the replacement frame. So if this... Uh, so if this frame is full of honey, for example, and it's all sealed up, I could replace it and put in a capped one. But for right now, that doesn't seem to be the case. We're going to see if we can maybe lift up this end one. But yeah, we're getting, we're getting pretty full here with these frames. But uh, I don't know that I want to take a look at it when it's so hot out today. There's probably a better day for this when we have temperatures in the 70s instead. We should have taken care of them now and made them very healthy by eliminating any mites. But maybe we'll lift the frame out and take a look. Okay. So, there, it's not capped yet. We got a lot of uncapped honey cells on this side. And a lot of frames yet to fill in. A lot of framework to go. So this one is, you know, it's fairly heavy. They still have a lot to place on it yet. Let's spin this baby around. On this side, we have um, about half of it is all framed up. Or most of it's got cells on it, and most of it's got capped honey on it. But we still have quite a ways to go. I do not see the queen on here. These are mainly just honey storage. Oh, I'm gonna get stung right here. Finally got stung. And I am putting this baby away. I'm gonna get this queen excluder back on. I got stung right in the wrist here because I'm using these cheap gloves that had an opening. So yeah, she, he got me. She got me, I should say. Covers it back on. 
I don't want to get stung again and I don't really have my good gloves on so we are going to get out of here and let the bees go back to being mellow. So this is what it's like when you get stung by a bee. You can see the stinger is still in there. It's a little painful. She definitely got me and I deserved it for having these cheap gloves on. So next time we won't have to remove the mite strips so we should be okay on that.